Hello everybody. Today's tech tip is a common question that comes up for those who have network licenses when it's time to upgrade. How do I upgrade my license manager server? Since this is such a common question, I thought it would be a great topic for a quick video. Once you've downloaded the installation files from the SolidWorks customer portal, the process is quite easy and painless. The first thing we need to do is transfer the licenses back over the internet or deactivate our license. So here on the server administration tab, we're going to choose modify. And then we're going to choose to move our product licenses to a new upgraded computer and then select next. On the next window, we're going to select all our products and where it asks us how we want to deactivate we're going to choose automatically over the internet and make sure you have your contact email listed below. Then click next. If everything went well, you should get a deactivated successfully confirmation. Next, we're going to run the installer and update the server components. So first we have to locate the SolidWorks setup exe. This is typically in your Windows download folder. Once we locate the SolidWorks setup.exe, we're going to choose it, right click, and run as administrator. Now, here, we're going to choose install server components and we're only interested in the upgrade SolidWork license manager. Once that's selected, we're going to choose next. And as long as everything on the summary page looks good, we're going to accept the terms of the license and choose install now. The install manager is going to upgrade the license manager. This process doesn't take long. Now that it's complete, we're going to choose finish. And lastly, we have to activate the license manager server. This is the part people forget to do. So we're going to launch the Solid Network License Manager server from the Start menu. And on the Administration tab, we're going to choose Modify. Here you can note your server name and port number if needed. Then we're going to hit Next. And once again, we're going to select all products. And where it asks us how we want to activate, we're also going to choose automatically over the internet. We're going to make sure our contact information is filled out and then we're going to hit next. And now we've got an activation slash reactivation succeeded. So our product has been reactivated. We can hit finish. OK. And now you've just successfully updated your license manager server. As always, I hope this video was helpful and saves you time when upgrading. Thanks for watching.